Hey, Terrence, really excited to share your story with some other people who are interested in starting a career in sales development. Uh, so how about we open this up by having you share with us a little bit about your background and who you are? My name is Terrence. I'm originally from um, Georgia. Um, I had a back, I have a short background in um, customer service. I worked at Kroger, so I have experience working with people in person. So that's what I kind of use to put my foot in the door in terms of sales. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And uh, I'm curious, how did you originally hear about course careers? I was Googling for remote jobs, fully remote jobs, and I came across it on a Google ad. So I clicked on it and followed up. And then that's when I scheduled the um, phone call with you. Gotcha. Okay. So you found us because you're looking for a fully remote job. Mm -hmm. uh, and can you tell us a little bit more about your background? So you worked at Kroger. Did you go to college? What other work experience do you have? How old are you? I did. I am 19 and I am in community college, Southern Crescent um, Technical College. I am studying cybersecurity. So I'm doing that on the side on top of my full-time job internship right now. Gotcha. Okay. So you're looking for a fully remote job. Did you know that you wanted to be in sales when you were, when you found course careers or did we really introduce you to this career? I did not. You all introduced me to it. I was kind of open-minded when I was looking for jobs. So I was open to pretty much anything. Gotcha. Okay. So you're open to any careers, but the only requirement was that you had to be fully remote. Yes. Okay. And why is that? Um, flexibility. Mm -hmm. I was what, do you, anything. what do you plan on doing with that flexibility? Um, using it to build a successful career in sales, hopefully. Gotcha. Okay. So you plan on working from home in sales. Um, and what made you want to enroll in this course? So did you go through that introduction course and were you sold on a career in technology sales after that? Or were you still I think it was the phone call with you that sold me. And it was also the student stories that I watched, the ones like this that I watched. Yeah. That you do it. Awesome, man. So how does it feel to finally be the one telling the, the story now? It feels great. It feels inspiring, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty incredible, too, that you're only 19 years old um, mm -hmm. and you're enrolled in community college now. So it sounds like you're doing that on the side while you're doing this full time internship. Um, and it's also in cybersecurity, which is really interesting because of the company yeah. you ended up working for. Mm -hmm. um, and could you share with us a little bit about your experience going through the course? Uh, like what was the material like? Was it confusing, difficult? Uh, I would say the material in the videos made it pretty straightforward. I also wrote a lot of the stuff down in notebooks and stuff just so I could look back at it. So that kind of made it helped it. And the books, I would say, had a lot of information and knowledge in them. So I mm -hmm. think the books were pretty much the things that had the most information in terms of like prospecting and, you know, picking up the phone, emailing, cold calling, stuff like that. Gotcha. So by the time you finished the course, do you think you had a pretty good understanding of what you would be doing in the role? and how to be successful in it. I had a very solid understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, so you go through this course and how long did it take you to, to go through it? I want to say right at two months. Gotcha. And I started at the beginning of March and I finished right at the first week of May. Gotcha. Okay. So it took you about two months to complete it. Were you working while you were going through it or were you doing the course? Yes, I was, but I only worked three days at a warehouse. So I worked Saturday through Monday. So I had Tuesday through Friday off and that's what I did. Gotcha. Okay. So you went through the course part-time while working part-time at a warehouse. Yes. Um, and once you finished the course, what was your experience like applying to companies and interviewing with companies? My experience was very positive. Most of them got back to me in about a week. I think I applied to three companies and two of them got back to me. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And the, the companies that got back to you, did you end up interviewing with them? Could you share uh, what that experience was like? Yeah, I think No Before was the first one. No, Cybermax was the first company to reach out to me. And then No Before after that. And I think I had my first interviews with the two of them on the same exact day. So I had two phone interviews in one day. Awesome. Uh, and these are both cybersecurity companies, which is really interesting because that's why uh, your background, it's, it's in cybersecurity. Cyber team, yeah. yeah, really a, a good uh, match, right? Mm -hmm, it is. Wow. Uh, so you interviewed with these two companies. Uh, and can you tell us what the interview process was like with No Before, the company you ended up accepting the offer from? The interview process was fairly easy. I think the first day they emailed me the day after was when we set up the interview because it was kind of a 
fast process. So I think it was very easy. It was just the, the first phone. It was just the, the first interview was just a phone call. And the mm-hmm. second one was a video interview. The first one, they just asked me some very simple questions, you know, my background and what got me into sales and everything. And then the second one was a little bit more thorough, the video interview. Gotcha. Okay. So it's very quick process. Did it take under a week total from start to finish? Yes. I think I interviewed, my first one was on a Thursday, the phone interview, and then I had the video interview on a Friday and then they had to do the references and I got the offer that Monday. Oh, wow. So it was literally Thursday was your first interview, five, Friday's your second interview. And by Monday you had a job offer. Yes. That's, that's really incredible. Um, and I know this was for uh, an internship at no before. Uh, mm-hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about how it's structured? Like, are you working remote? Are you in office? How long is it? It is remote. They are offering a fully hybrid option. So I think of the 50 interns, I think that they hired, I think about half of them are hybrid right now. Gotcha. Okay. So you got half of them on, in office, half of them are fully remote. Um, and how long is the internship? I want to say about 12 weeks. I think it ends August 12th and it started May 23rd. So about 12 weeks. Gotcha. So it's a 12 week internship. Um, and what's the expectation for the internship? Like, what are you responsible for during these 12 weeks? Uh, what are well, you so far, on? we're just responsible for doing the assigned training. So they have us doing a lot of training modules, videos, showing us how to use the software. And obviously it's a cybersecurity company. So they've been very big on teaching us about, you know, phishing and just basic security procedures that they follow that we have to follow. Gotcha. Okay. So you're learning about cybersecurity and their, their process. Uh, and once you're done going through the training, do you know what they what the internship is going to be like? I want to say it's I have no idea. Gotcha. <laughs> Just basic training. They give us this form where it shows us what we have to do for like the next two or three weeks. And then once we finish that, they'll give us the next thing. OK, yes. Gotcha. So they're putting you through training right now. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that once you finish this training, they're going to have you do the sales development job. So reach out to companies who might be interested in their cybersecurity solutions Mm -hmm. and then set up uh, meetings uh, for know before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And could you tell us a little bit uh, about the the company itself uh, and why you decided to work for them? I want to say it was the environment, the work environment that drew me to them. They're very positive and it seems like a very positive company, you know, very interactive. They care about, they show that they care about their employees, which is what drew me to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, looking up Nova Four, and I believe they're the, the number one rated company to work for in the Tampa yeah, area. Yeah, cybersecurity, yeah, cybersecurity companies or companies, yeah. Yeah, I think companies in, in general and cybersecurity, I'm sure they're really high on the, the list for that. So it's just mm-hmm. really incredible how we're able to, to go through our course and how we are partnered with them. So you need yeah, to get your foot in the minutes. door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty incredible. Uh, and how do you think this opportunity is going to, to change the uh, trajectory of your life? I think it'll change the tra- trajectory of my life for a long time. You know, I think I can easily move up and become more than just a sales rep, maybe an account executive or up to the CEO even, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, and a- as far as the money goes, I know after your internship, you're expected to be able to, to make like 60K plus. Uh, how do you think that the money will be able to, to change your life? I think the money will be able to change my life to the point, you know, where I could be able to get my own home or something, you know, mm-hmm. become st- just financially stable. Mm-hmm. And before landing this internship, did you ever worry about finances? Sometimes, but I'm also very good at budgeting. So that's not really something that I worry about too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so what do you think you'll be able to, to do with all this extra money? Hopefully travel. That's my passion to travel the world. So I see. I that. So is that one of the big reasons for wanting to, to work remote so you could travel while you're working? Yeah, I would say that. And just, I don't know. Yeah, I would say that. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people, they like to work for in these fully remote positions um, because you can travel to, to Mexico, no, no, no. Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, wherever you want. Yeah. So companies don't really care as long as you're delivering results at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, right. Pretty, pretty incredible. Um, and when you're traveling, you can still meet people and sell to them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, a, that's a benefit. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. So especially if you're in like outside sales or you move up to like a, the enterprise level where you're closing large deals in person. Yeah. So really wanting and dining people and closing big sales in the process. Um, and is there any piece of advice you'd give to someone who wants to be uh, in the situation you currently are now where you're in this paid internship, fully remote, on track to have this great sales development position uh, at an amazing company? What kind of advice would you give to someone aspiring to, to do that? I would say stay determined and stay on course and just go for it. You know, nothing's holding you back. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and if anyone's hesitant in uh, enrolling in course careers, I know a lot of people, they go through the introduction course and they think uh, it's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you tell them? The student stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what sold me. Awesome. So check out the student stories like these. These things are legit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I really appreciate you for, for sharing your story. Yes, uh, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad uh, you landed a position at No Before Two. And I know it's a really an amazing company with a great tra career trajectory. Yeah. Uh, so I think you're, you're going to really go places there. Yes, thank you.